hearing is now resumed and I welcome representatives from the Registered Organisations Commission. Uh, would you like to make an opening statement? Uh, Chair, I'll be making an opening statement. Oh, thank you. Uh, Chair, during the dinner break I sought assurances, further assurances from my staff. I have just been advised that without my knowledge, one staff member in my office in the course of discussions Senate, with journalists sorry, minute, 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 indicated minute, minute, that he minute, had received minister, information. Minister, sorry, sorry. Senators. Oh, so we'll just comment that she's throwing Senate, the, the Senate, staffer Senator under the Cameron, bus. That's, that's, all. That's, what we Cameron, that's what we picked. Senator Cameron, you have been heard in silence all day. Yeah. Please allow you ask the minister a question before the break. Please give her the courtesy of answering that question. Indicated in that he had received information that a raid may take place. I'm advised that this information came from a media source. I was not aware of it at the time and was not aware of it earlier today in estimates. This took place without my knowledge and was not authorised by me. As previously indicated, I was not notified of the raids until I watched them unfold on the television. My staff member has resigned. Thank you, Senator Cash. Mr Belinke, have you got an opening statement? Yes, uh, just, just on this. Have you got a question or are you going yeah, to make some commentary that would be better outside? Sorry? Have you got a question of the Minister? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I have. Minister. So, Minister, why did it take all of today and five rebuttals out of questions to get to this situation? Why couldn't you have found this out before you misled the Senate? Uh, Senator Cameron, I did not mislead the Senate, and I have just made that very, very clear. My staff member came to me during the dinner break and has resigned from my employment. Can I just say, though, uh, at least my staff member has offered his resignation. He has admitted he was wrong. Unlike, though, Bill Shorten, huh? who still has very serious <coughs> questions to be answered in uh, relation point, to point of order. Yes, so or try and uh, point, point of order. Were properly authorised. Chair, uh, sorry, point of order. Point of order, Senator. Cameron. On relevance, uh, I didn't ask anything about the leader of the opposition. I've you, asked the minister about why, on five occasions, did she yes. mislead the, Sen the Senator, Senate? Senator Cameron. And um, why Sen it took so long? Senator, Senator, That's all I've Senator asked. Senator Cameron, that is actually. Not mm. a point of order. You ask the question and the minister yeah, is answering it. The point of order it. was on relevance, Min it's, it's highly relevant. So, Minister, please continue. Uh, as I stated, I did not mislead. I was only recently advised during the dinner break. My staff member has resigned. Thank you. Mr Bellicchia. Chair, I have some questions. Um, uh, sorry, so, sorry, Senator Brown, just to confirm. To, to, of, the, minister, on the, minister, to the Minister. Yes. Um, minister, you said I have full faith in my staff. Considering a staff person has come to you and explained what has happened. Do you have full faith in your staff? Have you questioned your staff? How are you going ahead making such statements when you've got one staff who's now gone? How do you know that other staff didn't do it as well? I have sought collusion? assurances from my staff and so one have you staff questioned member, all your staff? So, so and Senator Rianne, one Minister staff answer. member has come forward and advised as I have stated. He has resigned. You initially said that one staff person approached you. Are you now saying that you have questioned all your staff? I have questioned all relevant staff, yes. All um, relevant staff. What does relevant staff mean? Well, I haven't spoken to the DLOs. Well, considering you've built a career on lying and there's been five oh, lies se 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 Senator, Senator Rhiannon. Senator Rhiannon, that is highly inappropriate uh, to say to the minister. So what I would ask before we continue on any further, we have managed to get through almost to the dinner break with a great deal of mutual courtesy in this and without people talking and yelling all over each other. Given that this, for the rest of the evening, I imagine it is going to be um, quite a contentious topic and subject, I would ask all senators here to still respect each other and also show courtesy to the minister and to the officials. Now, that's not to say that you can't ask robust questioning, but you've started already talking over each other and talking over the minister. So if you ask the minister or an official a question, please allow them to answer it and show some degree of courtesy. <coughs> and I would ask senators not to talk over each other because we've already had senators uh, yelling over the top of each other. So, Senator Rhiannon. 
So could you explain? Point of order, Chair. Yeah, point of order. Of order. That should be withdrawn. Senator Rhiannon said that the minister has built a career on lying. That is an outrageous personal slur and attack. And frankly, Senator Rhiannon, not something I've typically heard from you and unlike you, and I think it should be withdrawn. Senator Rhiannon, would, would you withdraw that, uh, that accusation? I, I would. And refer I withdraw the accusation. I ask the minister to explain the situation with her staff, considering five times she answered a question very specifically, and now she comes with a very different explanation of how she was conducting from how she was conducting herself earlier. Uh, Senator Rhiannon, that was my knowledge at the time. During the dinner break, I have spoken with staff, and I have been advised, as I stated that without my knowledge, one staff member in my office, in the course of discussions with journalists, indicated that he had received information that a raid may take place. I am advised that this information came from a media source. I was not aware of it at the time and was not aware of it earlier today in estimates. This took place without my knowledge and was not authorised by me. As previously indicated, I did not know about the raids until I watched them unfold on the television. Well, this Senator, Ca Senator Cameron, you yeah, the call? Thanks. This raises further questions. Um, in relation to one of your staff being advised by a media source, it means there's a, a leak either in Rock, the Federal Police, or your staffer is not telling you the truth. How can you be sure that this staff person who lied to you today is now telling the truth? My staff member has advised me as such and he has resigned his employment. So, Minister, I wasn't at the Sorry, earlier... Sorry, Senator, are you seeing the call? Yes, please. Minister, I wasn't at the earlier session today, but I have gone back over the transcript and... At, at, on at least five occasions, you had advised this committee that neither you nor anyone from your office advised the media of this raid before it occurred. So, one example. So, Minister, did you or your office or the department advise any other person about the raid? No, as I said, I literally watched it on the, un the television unfold myself. Did your office advise any journalist about any issues arising from this last night? I'd need to speak with my office, but I don't believe so, no. So did any ministerial office staff know about the raid and tell anyone about the raid before it commenced? No, Senator Cameron, I watched it unfold on the television. I'm asking about your office. I have full faith in my staff. So every one of those statements that you made to the Senate was not correct? Uh, that is incorrect. That was my knowledge at the time. I have, during the dinner break, spoken to staff and a staff member has admitted that without my knowledge he, in the course of discussions with journalists, indicated that he had received information that a raid may take place. As I've stated, I'm advised that this information came from a media source. I was not aware of it at the time and was not aware of it earlier today in estimates. Yeah. Sorry, 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 uh, sorry, Senator, Senator Farrell, Senator Farrell, Senator Farrell. There is, Senator Farrell. There is a very simple Senate, Senate, procedure Senator here Farrell. with the Westminster system. Senator Farrell, system. you know that you have to seek the Minister call. Minister Cash, I will, and you okay, have to I'm resign. You have to take, no, 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 you no, have no, to take responsibility for what has happened here. Meeting. This has been an outrage.